Hi, and welcome to Music and Politics. I'm Douglas Caballero. Vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan's proposed federal budget has been his biggest headline so far. But it's the congressman's appreciation for the band Rage Against the Machine that we found counterintuitive. Or is it? At first, we at the Young Turks considered this a co-opting of youth rebellion. Hey man, it's part of my story. The man can't like them too. Besides, Rage is one of the most politically outspoken leftist bands of all time. How could Paul Ryan, the Republican vice presidential candidate, dig Rage Against the Machine? They appear to disagree on everything. Ryan voted to authorize the war in Iraq. Rage opposed it, of course. The congressman has taken an anti-amnesty line on immigration. Rage has spoken out against Arizona's immigration law. Ryan voted to ban federal health care coverage that includes abortion. Rage supports pro-choice rights. And don't get me started on their disagreements over taxing the 1% and union busting. But then it occurred to us, musical anthems and song lyrics can mean just about anything if the listener really, really wants them to. Rage's 1996 album title, Evil Empire, was borrowed from Ronald Reagan of all people. That was his term for the Soviet Union. So who's the evil empire now for Congressman Ryan? A Democrat in the White House? And then we remembered Senator Mitch McConnell's vow to make Obama a one-term president and the fact that the past four years have shown us some of the most obstructionist behavior in Congress, arguably in the history of the Union, which reminded us of Rage's song, Killing in the Name, featuring the unforgettable lyrics. So what do you think? Hit me up on Twitter and in the comments section and let's discuss. I'm Douglas Caballero. Stay tuned for more music and politics on the Young Turks Network.